ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஹவு டு டூ கார்லேஷன் பிகாஸ் இஃப் யூ ரிமெம்பர் இன் ஆர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி சா அபவுட் ஹவு டு டூ தி பேராமிட்டரைசேஷன் அண்ட் அட் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் த வீடியோ ஐ டோல்ட் யூ ஹவு ஆர் வி கோயிங் டு டீல் வித் தி கார்லேஷன் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் சம் ஆஃப் தி பேராமிட்டர் வேல்யூஸ் தட் வி ஹாவ் இன்புட் ஸோ இன் ஆர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி சா அபவுட் பேராமிட்டரைசிங் ஆல் தீஸ் three we have values one is the username and password and the second one is the product id and the working item id so in this scenario this values are quite easy and simple like with this this is just a more of a 5 to 10 values which we can easily enter it manually but what in case if we want to enter or if we want to deal with hundreds or thousands of data is it's, it's it's not possible and there are chances where we might go or we might it might lead to some failures even some typo errors will lead to a huge impact on the performance testing results so in those scenarios again as i already mentioned like what is the difference between parameterization and correlation so parameterization is something that the testers are the one who or the users will give it as an input but the correlation value is something we get it from the response or from the server response value so we can get that value from there so that is the difference between the parameterization and correlation so in this video we are going to see about how to deal with the correlation technique of this particular parameter value so we are going to deal this scenario instead of parameterization we are going to correlate the values and we will see how it works and before we move on to the video this is me your vasan shanmugam please do subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet and comment your questions and feedbacks in the comment section like and share the video with your friends so with no further delay let's go to the video so in this scenario so this is the video that we have you this is the script that we have used for giving a demo on parameterization so i'm let me just make a duplicate of it and let me run this script so we have got the other thread group and let me recreate the values here so the first one which is going to be the sign in transaction sorry that's the third transaction the sign in we are not making any changes in it so this is something which we cannot get it from the server or it cannot be correlated so this is the one that we are going to keep it as parameterization so there is no change in it so this is going to be parameters all the time so let is highlighted so this is going to be parameters all the time and this is the value which we are going to correlate it so let's see how to correlate it so this is the parameters and correlation so take this as scenario 2 so here we are going to correlate just this product id and then the working item id delete this rows and the, okay so these are the two values which we are going to correlate so let's see how to do that in this video let's go to the script now and let's change the values there so we have these values here since these are the values which i have used already so let me just reset the values i will pick it up from here which is going to be f i i'm pasting it here and then again in value 6 we are going to change the value here as the work item id which is going to be est hyphen 1 and let me reset it reset the value and let me save it and let's run the script once to make sure the script is working fine before we are doing the correlation and i'm running the script let's just watch it once if it is completed successfully we can then move to the correlation part so the validation has completed and let's see the change i have made so here i can see the est1 and under here i can see the est1 again as part of the product id so let's now so we'll get ready for the correlation and for before we do the correlation let's go through the script and we will find what are all the values so we are going to correlate this value and then this value the working uh, work item id so the first thing is we will need to find this value in the previous response so for that we'll have to go to the click fish 
and here is the value we have got we are supposed to correlate so for that let's try this one so apart from these values that is the product ID and the other element we have the correlation I mean correlation for the G session ID so we will need to correlate all these three values so first let's replace the correlation value in here the J session uh, for the J session ID and here we can see that is the let's search for the dynamic value which is the J session ID in case if we find it we'll have to replace in case if we are, it's not there then it's not a problem we can skip it but here in case if we find any values which is completely different so for example I think we can find it in the response header in case if it is there so it looks like there is no values something like the session ID so let's move on to the other values which we have previously planned so let's go to the click on product and we have to correlate this value and for that we'll need to go to the previous response and the previous response is in click fish under this we have the response body so in the body section we can find this and let's go to the other section which is the text section where we will try to find the values and for that let's choose the text and here under the text we can find the values so here is the value that we are supposed to correlate and the technique which I'm going to use is inside the product ID so I'm going to choose this value so I'm going to have this as my regular expression so before that let's choose this regular expression and we'll confirm whether it works fine and for that let me choose this again and let's go to the regular expression tester let's test it so here we can see the match count is one but since this is correlation we will need to confirm it with the other values as well so dot star question mark so the product ID equals is the left boundary and the double quotes and the closing bracket is the right boundary for this value so anything that comes inside will be correlated or will be extracted so the first thing is we are going to extract this value and then we are going to replace it with the required places so let's test this and yes this works fine see you can see here so whenever it comes automatically any of these values will be chosen from the list so that is how this particular regular expression works so let's copy this for now and let's go to the text and make sure we have all the items available let me go to the HTML so here we can see we have chosen all these four items in our list so let's replace the value and before that we'll need to have the regular expression extractor so let's go to add post processor and regular expression extractor and the name is going to be is that it's going to be the product ID so we'll replace that with the product ID and the regular expression we have already tested it it's working fine so we'll have it and then the template is going to be dollar one dollar the match number is going to be the one so in case if it has to be random we can choose it as random we can have zero so for, for now let's have it as one and we'll test it before we go final because otherwise we might not be able to know like what was the error if it case if it doesn't work and then the default value is going to be not found so this will tell us that this value is not being found correctly and then for the next transaction that is to add the work uh, working item ID we'll have to get the value from the product and then let's again go back to the text we will find the value whichever which it got chosen so this is going to be the item ID or we can even get it from the working item ID we can choose any of it so for now let's choose the item ID to correlate the same technique so which we used in the previous example so this is what we are going to test now and let's go to the regular expression tester and let's test it so we have we'll get one which is expected 
then let's add dot star question mark which is anything any combination of alpha numeric or any other special characters will be extracted so that is the uh, expression for choosing it and let's test it and here yes we can see two items since we have two items in the list so this is tested and it is working and let's now go back to the sorry we did a mistake I think we will need to move this regular expression extractor to the previous one because here is why where we are going to extract the value and the same way we are supposed to add the regular expression extractor to this particular so we are supposed to add the regular expression extractor in the request we are going to extract the value and not in the request we are going to replace so that's the difference between parameterization and correlation so in case if we want to parameterize something we'll have to bring in the csv dataset config in that particular request but in case if we want to do the correlation we will need to extract the values from the previous response so that is the reason i'm adding this in the previous response so just to make sure we should add it in the response where we are where we, we should add these extractor in the response where we are collecting and not in the request where we are pasting it okay so let's extract the value now and it is going to be working sorry let me case it working item id the regular expression is already tested and then the template here again it's going to be one and not found let's save it so so far we have extracted the values and let's now replace the values in the requests and this product id has to be replaced in the next request so let me replace it here and let me close it and then the same way the value which we have extracted in the work item id we should replace it in the add to cart step and let me replace it here so we have replaced the values and let's now do a regular check let me choose one here so let me just have it as two and let's check how does it work so now we have tested the changes so we have got esd3 since we have chosen two in the regular expression extractor so what we'll do now is let's change it to random and then we will run a test change it to zero so this is going to be random and then let's clear it and then we'll run with three iterations and let's see how does it work and let's start the test so now we have executed the test three times and let's see the values that we have correlated so the first one is the third one esd3 and then the next option is esd4 and then the last one is EST21. So in this way, we have seen that we have checked or we have correlated different items. So this is how the correlation works in JMeter. So we can, so the, let's do a quick recap. So what we did initially is we have identified the values that we are supposed to correlate from the previous response so for example the if we are going to change the value of the product id here we'll need to find that in the previous response and then we have added the regular expression extractor from where we need to extract the value so which means to this response so we have to add this value in here so in case some people like they might add it to the different request and if we are searching for the value we might not get it because this value stays in the previous response so we will need to add or we have to be very careful while adding the regular expression extractor otherwise there are chances where it might fail and the next thing is we have created a regular expression which extracts the values and that has to be dynamic so in, in, I mean like to extract any dynamic value so it has to uh, it has to manage all the values or it has to compromise or it has to convince every value that comes in between it so we will have to select the correct left boundary and the right boundary and then we will need to choose the correct regular expression which extracts all the values and after that we have to replace the values with a dollar symbol and then the brackets inside the values 
inside the bracket we'll have to replace the value so with that we have did the correlation so in our next script we in our next video we are going to see so we i'll be creating all the other required scripts that to execute the test so in our next video we will see how to execute a load test using jmeter so until i meet you in our next video it's from us and little slaw